And and you go, did you see that? I, I've got this uh, image in Open Sensors Towers of you guys with a massive dashboard, just seeing <laughs> the nation's offices and all their all their uh, all their uh, occupancy data sort of going up and down. But have, have you guys done some work to see what the kind of generic aggregate kind of patterns are? Have you have you seen that kind of? It must be fascinating to see that kind of shift happening across the board. Yeah, and and it, it has been fascinating actually, and it supports a lot of what. Patrick has said regarding the type of space. So even if when people go in, the purpose for which they're going into the office is different. So they are going in to see others, to collaborate. It's less desk heavy and much more of, of, a, of a, a strain on, on actually the collaborative spaces. And what we're seeing is even with the meeting rooms is much fewer people going into bigger meeting rooms because so many of their colleagues are remote. So when meetings are conducted, you know, you've got kind of sporadic uh, distributions of people using any space they can to collaborate with others that are not necessarily in the building. Yeah. I think the composition of offices are, are, are you know, they're going to continue, but the composition of what the office looks like is going to evolve, I think, significantly. And, and we're just on the probably the early stages of really understanding what that would look like. And, and also behaviors are driven by others. So the more people come in on certain days, the more there is motivation for team members and their colleagues to go in on, on that day. So it's, it's, let's not forget that other people's behavior drives their colleagues. Uh, yeah, 